My name is Jesse Cody, and I'm currently living in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm the founder and director of Hike the Good Hike. Hike the Good Hike is a nonprofit that shows the benefits of using nature or wilderness exploration to help those that are suffering from mental illness. What we do specifically is help organizations or programs in the country that need exposure or need funding. Hike the Good Hike is based off of my own personal life, my personal struggles with mental illness. Um, for many years, I, I struggled with not just depression and uh, anxiety, but um, the things that I were going through, specifically with insecurities, um, really led to some narcissistic behavior as I got older. Um, those behaviors came out on women that I dated, and throughout all of the things that I exhibited, um, it caused a lot of pain within myself. As I got older, um, I started truly thinking about not wanting to be around on the planet anymore. And I started thinking about suicidal thoughts. I would say in my 30s to mid 30s, those thoughts grew. My pain grew, my issues grew, my depression grew. And throughout all of that, I was hiding the fact that I was hurting. Um, I was like most who was, I was a person who was unwilling to talk about my, my issues, unwilling to ask for help. Um, unwilling to talk to the people that cared for me most and tell them what was going on and in a sense my life was an act. The most important part of my life, a, a, a moment that means the most to me, is when I was in my darkest moments of life where I thought to myself, I don't think I'm going to see many more days. I was turning 40 years old. Uh, from my 40th birthday party, uh, friends and family decided to put on a big event. And I was excited about it, but I remember the day before thinking to myself, this may be and possibly is the last birthday I would see. There was a time at that party that I was in the middle talking to people and feeling all this love and all these people here to recognize me. And I had this moment that I was hit hard by all that love that surrounded me. It made me think, it made me say to myself, how can somebody who's filled with so much love in their life often think and constantly think that they no longer want to be here. It made me think that I owed so many to these people and that to do something like that would put so much pain on them, people that I didn't want to hurt, people that I didn't want to see suffer. And so after that party, I dwelled on that for a few days. I thought to myself, have you given yourself a chance? Have you asked for help? Have you done anything to try to better, better yourself? Have you done anything to try to find some light in this darkness that you constantly find yourself? And so from there, I started doing some research and I started thinking to myself, maybe it's time to start taking a chance before you make a bad decision. Maybe it's time to find something that could help you find this life that you truly believe you could live. And that's when I started doing this research and trying to try to figure out what it is that I could find that would give me some purpose and some hope. And that's when the Appalachian Trail came into my life. But something was telling me, go for a walk, take a big leap, go see if you could figure out what this is that you're looking for. And that's when I made the decision to hike the Appalachian Trail. Hiking the Appalachian Trail was a major leap for me. I did something that was so far-fetched, but it was the best leap I ever took. But I think it doesn't have to be a major leap. I think small leaps are okay too. It's just finding the courage for yourself to start small and build up because you do have an opportunity to find a path. You do have an opportunity to find a life that you feel good about. And in turn, you'll be happy. The initial hikes that I took were for me, right? I, I was trying to find my way out of my own darkness. And now I am constantly thinking about these steps that I take, how it can help my organization. I think the benefit of hiking the good hike is that people are seeing what I'm doing. People are paying attention, whether it's someone who's struggling in the way I did or someone knows someone who's struggling in the way I did. I love to think that each step that I take throughout each hike is making a difference is not just growing my organization but getting people to see who need to see it that there are people out there or an organization out there that is trying to use something to make a difference in this world so you know you can think maybe now hiking is a job for me but it's something I actually look at as a passion I look at it as my calling it's my life and so when I do hike I'm not just hiking for myself anymore I'm hiking for an organization that I believe can help a lot of people. There was this moment in my life where I realized it was either I was going to take my life or I was going to try to find a way to live a life, but not just live a life, but live a life with purpose. And that's how I found my way to hiking.
So Hike the Good Hike is really based off of me finding a way to hiking and taking on these incredible challenges of long trails in our country, such as the Appalachian Trail and the Pacific Crest Trail. What it taught me was, is that I could live this life that I desired. It taught me to find a way to want to live a life of empathy and love and understanding and to really connect with humans. And most importantly, find a way to love myself, which in turn helped me find a way to love those around me. I had made a promise to now what I believed in most was Mother Nature, that I would take what was taught to me and I would build something off of it. And that is the Pillars of Hike the Good Hike.